get away with this, I tell you. You can't get away with this! Gentlemen, these crimes will ruin the transportation industry. We know that, Chase, but how can we stop them? We're powerless. The Bankers Association is heavily involved in your respective organizations. If you go out of business, the credit system will be seriously impaired. Well, they can't stop every service line in the city. Something's got to be done. Get the police. Well, that seems to be our only recourse. Working for the octopus is all right. If I only knew who he was, I'd feel better. Yeah, I'd like to know who's paying me. Mr. Roberts here, as you ordered, sir. Bring him to me. You men wait outside. Return when I call you. Good afternoon, Mr. Roberts. Come in. What kind of tomfoolery is this? This is my office, Roberts. Does it surprise you? Just why was I brought here? I am greatly interested in your company, Mr. Roberts. I've judged as much from your threats. Hints. Not threats, Roberts. But some people can't take a hint, and therefore they must suffer the consequences. Look behind you, Mr. Roberts. They interest you. Exact location of all your depots, bus terminals, main branches, and routes. How did you get this information? Getting information, Mr. Roberts, is my business. Using that information is also my business. Where do I fit into those charts? You don't. You will be eliminated as an obstacle. Tomorrow morning, you will be no longer chairman of Roberts Company Incorporated. My man will take your place. You're crazy. I am quite serious and equally sane in my undertaking. Tomorrow morning I will control Roberts Company Incorporated and very soon I will have control of every key industry in this country. I will have the very nerve centers of the nation in the palm of my hand. You're a madman. I'm getting out of here. Not so fast, my friend. I have no desire that you leave just now. I'll have the entire police department down on you. <laughs> the police haven't helped you so far, have they? Then I'll kill you myself before you can commit another one of your crimes. It shouldn't be difficult to choke the life out of you. Send for me, sir. Take our late friend, Mr. Roberts, and place him near the river. Be sure the police find him. And don't make any blunders this time. I won't fail. Tomorrow morning, I'll be in complete control of Roberts Company Incorporated. And that's only the beginning. Our next move is to see that Mr. Richard Wentworth joins our friend, Mr. Alan Roberts. This is great. Nothing but peace and happiness ahead. Somehow I just can't realize that the great Richard Wentworth is finally going to settle down to a quiet life with a wife and flowers on. From now on, we're chasing rainbows, not crooks. Even though we are going to be married, Dick, I wonder which is more important to you, face powder or gunpowder? If you were wearing gunpowder, then it's gunpowder. Now, Nita, we've waited too long for peace and quiet, and we're going to have it now. 
And if anyone tries to stop it, it's going to be just too bad. Boo, the spider gives his warning. Uh-uh, not the spider. As far as I'm concerned, my other half is put away in mothballs. Our honeymoon plans begin where the spider ends. As long as I'm with you, look, there's no more spider, no more trouble, nothing to keep us from our trip. I've heard you say that before. I'll prove it to you. We're around the boat, mystic blue waters. Ahead, the busy, crowded port of Hong Kong. The boat is docked. It's our first stop. Our luggage is on the pier. The customs man is examining it. Missy Wentworth, no bring American perfumes in China. All he say me smell like cheese. Missy Wentworth, too pretty, wear cheese. All he say me wear donut blossom. Bravo, bravo. At least life with me won't be monotonous. I'll be a different man every 10 minutes. Keeping track of Richard Wentworth will be enough for me. We must be close to getting in. I'll call Jackson and get the weather. NC8R6 calling W4HQ, Wentworth Airfield. W4HQ answering NC8R6. Come in, Major. Hello, Jackson. Passing over Westchester about 20 miles out. Give me the weather. Visibility clear. Ceiling unlimited. West wind 12 miles an hour. Thanks, Jackson. Good old Jackson, Jenkins, and Ram Singh, my three faithful musketeers. W4HQ calling NC8R6. W. Too much disturbance, Jackson. Try to break through. Come in, Jackson. I'm waiting. So we'll have to land without Jackson's help. I'll take over. Who's that guy? That's Ram Singh, one of Wentworth's men. Are you all right? Sure, but I'm glad you're here. He'd no sooner starts for home than trouble catches up with us. I'm gonna go outside and make sure that cable's up. We can't take any chance on that Wentworth. Right. Hey, get along, Mike. Okay, Joe will have the cable rigged in a minute. Here he comes now. Come on, let's get back and hang and finish this guy. Come on. Go. Come on. Another clip of those guys taking pot shots at him. Get out there and try to land him in the rear. Okay. Ahead, Jackson. Okay, Major. I guess an aspirin will fix me up. Sahi, are you all right? Never better. Now listen, Ram Singh. Nita just landed in the meadow. You get her into the city as fast as you can. I think the Jefferson Highway will have the least traffic. Now hurry because there might be trouble around here. Immediately, Sahi. 
Jackson, what's this all about? Why the attack? I... That's probably Commissioner Kirk now. He's been trying to reach you all afternoon. Maybe he knows what's going on. Hello. Oh, hello, Kirk. Listen, Dick. All Hades is broken loose. Some madman is trying to cripple the transportation of the country. You're telling me. They just raided my place here. Got a couple of prisoners for you if they're still alive. So they're after you, too. Get down here quick. Oh, wait a minute, old man. I can't get mixed up in this. I promised Nita that I... I can't help what you promised. You're not going to stand by idly while hundreds of lives are threatened. The man behind these attacks just had the audacity to phone me. Says he's going to blow up the Jefferson Highway Bridge in ten minutes. I just sent Nita and Ram Singh over that road to town. I've got men on the way to stop all traffic. But they may not be in time. I'll be in time. I've got to be. I'll see you at your office later. I'm wrong, Chief? You wait here until the police arrive to take care of those two men you knocked out. I'm going after Nita and Rand Clink. To the city immediately. Sahib's orders. Is he all right? Never better. Calling all cars. Attention, all cars. This may be in your district. Bridge on Jefferson Highway threatened by dynamiters. Hurry, that is all. Well, I suppose this means my wedding is again postponed. Prophet has sat down. Danger is the brave man's first love. Yes, Ramsey, but it's kind of tough on us girls. First aid, it's a bad cut. Darling. I'm all right, Dick. It's only a bump. Please, Dick. I'm all right. It was an attempt to kill the Mem Sahib? No, but it looks like part of the plan to destroy the transportation system. We're taking Nita to the hospital. Get to her back about 100 yards. We'll take this car and pick up the roaster later. a fine way to start our honeymoon. If Dr. Gaylor says you're all right, we'll start immediately. I'd like to know who's behind all this. I thought you would. Now you can get a little sleep. Nita's going to be all right. Just a little rest and quiet, and she'll be as good as new. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Gaylor. That cut looks pretty bad. Don't let it worry. Just let her rest. And that means no visitors. All right, that's fine, Doc. I'll see you on Nita later. Nita's okay. Take me to Commissioner Kirk's office right away. Lieutenant Sinner, we've been expecting you. I got here as fast as I could, sir. He's tough, sir. Smarter than any other man I came up against. I've never slipped before, have I? You'd better not slip up again. Nothing will stop me. Wentworth or any other obstacle in my path will be destroyed. 
Any trouble, Mulvaney? No, sir. He's been quiet as a mouse. We're going to see the prisoner. See that we're not disturbed. Yes, sir. Monk, Commissioner Kirk, we want to ask you some questions. The man's dead. Strangled. Dead? But how? Right here in the police hospital? Do your eyes smart? There seems to be an acid vapor in the room. Medicine, probably. I don't know of any medicine that smells like that. Has anyone been in the room? Nobody that I know of. There's your answer. A strange gas vapor has been released here. This gangster that was killed at the hospital was one of the Gallagher gang. It was indicted some time ago. Oh, yes, I remember. That's the gang that tangled with the spider. A murderer operating against murderers. Kirk, I think you've got the spider all wrong. As far as I've been able to find out, he always tries to help justice. He has never attacked an innocent person. No man has the right to take the law into his own hands. A judge and jury can decide what's right or wrong. Tell a type for you, Commissioner. Just came in. Alan Roberts, head of the big bus company, has been murdered. Shot. Too bad. I'll see you later, Kirk. I've got to get over to the hospital and see Nita. A few pennies, mister, please. A few pennies. Oh, I guess so. Take it easy, Wentworth. You're covered. That's right, buddy. You're covered by all of us. All right, come on. Move over toward that car. No squawks. <laughs> Looks like your job is complete. Get in, cut the gas. Hey, are these blindfolds necessary? Take the blinkers off. They don't know where they're at anyhow. Hey, what are we going to do with these guys now that we've got them? The octopus says to hold them until further orders. Get going. Come on, come on. Got to get rid of him. I'll go. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it.
fun. The man they were carrying wore a bus driver's uniform. That might have something to do with the shooting of Alan Roberts, head of the bus company, who was just found dead. I'm going to find out. Get me a chair, please. Take no chances, Sahib. Warrior, I spent years in the underworld as Lincoln McQuaid, learning the ways of thugs. I earned the reputation of expert safecracker. I learned the prison language. I won the confidence of those fellows. I've been repaid many times. They know Blinky McQuaid. They won't kill him. As always, you are right, Sahib. Now you get down the fire escape to the car and stand by at the corner. Be careful, Sahib. Right. Don't you think you're going to have a little excitement? It's all right with me, boss. Hey, pal, did you see a couple of strangers running around here? In house. Yeah? One of them run right into me. Slug me. Which way did he go? Right down that way. The other room. Okay. Gary. Hello, Blinky. Where you been? Oh, just cooling off after a hot job. Where are you going? The masquerade ball? Got to take a bus to the terminal. See you around. Please throw a pack on the floor. I want to have a fine time explaining this. Oh, that's tough, Lee. Hey, I saw Harry Stone going out of here in a bus driver's outfit. What's up? Hey, wait a minute. You in on this job? No, but I'd sure like to be. I'd like to get back in action again. Well, you should have been around here earlier. There was a job. Fixing up a bus with a charge of dynamite. Say, that's your racket, ain't it? Sure, it's right down my alley. Maybe it ain't too late for me to get in it yet. No, no, they've already left for the West Terminal. though. They're going to blow it there. Yeah, 9 o'clock. That joint will go sky high. Ah, uh, well. Too bad I have to miss the fireworks. So long, Blake. So long, Blakey. Wholesale murder at the terminal at nine o'clock. Quarter of the hour now. I know. We've got to get there. Every second counts. Yes, Master. Take after that guy. Spider prepares to strike again, Master. Yes. Sudden action is necessary. The law is to handicap by red tape. So, to save human lives, the spider operates outside the law. The monster is wise. The police. Someday they might catch the spider. The noose already dangles over his head. We have to take that chance, ma'am. Five minutes of nine. We have two more blocks to go. We've got to empty that terminal as quickly as possible. I don't know which bus holds the dynamite. Now, here's what we're going to do. All aboard! Bus number 17! All aboard!
Lester. Work fast. You know what to do. And in the next episode, you will see Richard Wentworth, aiding the police, narrowly rescues Police Commissioner Kirk from the octopus in a room filled with deadly gas. The octopus captures Wentworth's fiance, Nita Van Sloan, to hold his bait for Wentworth. The spider, throwing off an attempt to catch him, ends in another trap set by the octopus. Will he escape? Will he escape?